I've been asked to give a few um, explanations to a few uh, of the very common questions that have come from our colleagues, our friends and our families. And the first question was um, to explain about the vaccine in South Africa, um, the vaccines that we are using in South Africa. And that at the moment is Johnson & Johnson and the Pfizer vaccine. Both of these vaccines contain small parts of the, the virus that causes COVID, SARS-CoV-2. These small parts are parts of the spike protein and the spike protein is the protein on the virus that is responsible for attachment to your cell once the virus gets into your nose or your mouth. It then gets into your cell with the spike protein binding to your cells and that's how you become ill. So the vaccines contain a very small portion of the spike protein the vaccines cannot give you COVID. However, the small spike protein in the vaccine stimulates or forces your body to make small portions of the spike protein. This then stimulates or activates your immune system. Can I fall ill if I have taken the vaccine? Yes, you still have about a 50% chance of becoming infected and developing symptoms. But as I've mentioned, your chances of developing severe COVID and severe symptoms, being hospitalized and being death, decreases by more than 90%. So you can still spread the virus. So even after the vaccine, please wear your mask, uh, sanitize, uh, maintain uh, physical distancing and stay at home when you are ill. This virus will be with us for a while. So we need to really minimize the spread of this virus. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Dr. Mogwane from the UWC Campus Health and Wellness Center. And I want to explain to you why you should have the vaccine, the, the COVID-19 vaccine, and why it is a safe option for you. Please understand, despite the, the questions out there, this vaccine was not rushed through. The technology to formulate this vaccine has been around for the past decade or so. Technology has advanced quite rapidly and this has allowed this vaccine to be formulated in a record time. Outside of that, the information required to actually formulate the vaccine has been shared between the labs uh, across the world. It's been multinational. So this allowed for the information to be shared and resources to be pulled towards formulating these vaccines. So please understand it was not a rushed process. These vaccines have been extensively studied and tried before they were released for, for, for human usage. So please, these vaccines are safe to be used at the moment, even if it is under emergency circumstances. The other thing is that these vaccines are constantly monitored. All the side effects, effects are, are, are reported on a daily basis and should anything go wrong, uh, this will be addressed immediately. The other aspect is regarding the safety of the vaccine. The vaccine has been shown to be far more beneficial than a risk factor to us as human beings. My name is Vera Adams from Institutional Advancement and this morning I took the COVID-19 vaccine at the UWC Vaccination Centre. It is the only way we are going to stop this pandemic and protect the people that we love and care about. I urge all my UWC colleagues to go and get vaccinated and play your part in protecting the people around you and stopping this pandemic in its tracks. A huge thank you to the staff and volunteers at the UWC Vaccination Centre for a pain-free professional and efficient service. Go and get vaccinated. I work for Smile 90.4 FM. I am a radio presenter with the radio station here in Cape Town. I had the privilege today of going and having my first shot done as part of my vaccinations, the two-step process. I'll be going back on the 17th. I had it done at UWC's Great Hall. It was a very, very pleasant experience. And I must say that one didn't expect to get the kind of assistance and explanations that was uh, ventured forward by the personnel in charge. Uh, the actual process itself of getting the vaccination took a matter of about a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, thereafter, I went to my waiting area, waited there. It was quick, it was painless. I took a pick and I'm now vaccinated. I go back again 
on the 17th of August. It is a quick and if one can say painless process as you don't really feel the vaccination. And I must say that UWC has put together a very fluid and organized process for one to be vaccinated. I encourage all South Africans to get the vaccine. It's gonna help you to combat the virus at some stage. And also, if you are related to somebody at UWC or perhaps have a colleague or somebody who works at UWC, investigate the fact that you can have your vaccinations done at UWC if you have a family member working at UWC. I encourage you to do so. UWC, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Laureen Platsky and I work at UWC. Today my husband and I were vaccinated in the Great Hall. It was so exciting, it felt like graduation. We were in and out really quickly. We were handled professionally by the friendly staff. Sister Cupido had us dancing. Victory <laughs> dance, yes! As she injected me announcing, now you're sorted for life. And indeed, I feel I can now get a life. <laughs> okay, let me just clean first. So, how long have you been married, you say? Too long. Uh, 31 years this year. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, will you go into your honeymoon? Ben William. Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to get on the system. So, are you feeling well today? Yeah. Perfect. Happy? Can I go in? Oh. And, uh, Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> that was brilliant. Thank you very much. How liberating, how hugely grateful we are for our health workers. All I can say to everyone is join the movement. Help kick COVID and get vaccinated now. Good day, everyone. The COVID-19 vaccination process is an extremely important process that must unfold as quick as possible. It is life-saving, it is safe, it is effective, the benefits far outweigh the risk, and it's a very important health healthcare intervention. At the University of the Western Cape, we have uh, taken a decision to participate in the vaccination rollout and therefore have set up a vaccination site within the Great Hall at the Balboa campus. Uh, I want to thank the Department of Health for the accreditation and the advice and also thank uh, the uh, Faculty of Community and Health Sciences, Professor Rona and her team, um, the uh, Department of Risk and Compliance, Mr. Benton Jefter and his team, the Department of Student Development and Support, uh, Professor Dube and her team, the Executive Management Committee, and the COVID-19 response to us. I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon at the vaccination center.